Say hello to everyone, Draco. Say hello. Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this video today, I'm gonna talk to you about my top five free plugins in After Effects that I find useful. So a disclaimer, this is a paid video by AE Juice, but I have made sure that all of the plugins that I mentioned in this video are useful and I personally find useful. This list isn't necessarily the best plugins out there in the whole wide world. I think every person, every animator would find different plugins helpful. So there might be um, better plugins out there that might be more useful to you than it is to me. Also keep in mind that this video is not a tutorial of each plugin, it's just a review on what each plugin can do. Although if you'd like a tutorial of uh, any of this specific plugin, I'm happy to create a tutorial and just let me know in the comment section below. Okay, let's get started. First one is AE Juice GIF. In the past, in order to make GIF, I would export my sequence from After Effects and then open it in Photoshop and then export it again from Photoshop as a GIF. It's not too hard, but it's just not very practical. With AE Juice GIF, you can do that inside After Effects in just one click. If you have a big dimension, sometimes they will ask you to resize it down and I think 640 is okay for a GIF. You can make it even smaller if you want. You can also change the settings like color depth before exporting it. Next is Copy Ease by AE Juice. Sometimes you want to create a bunch of keyframes on different layer, but you want to keep that exact same curve or ease. Usually when I want to do this, I would do it all manually and individually, and it just takes a lot of time. Instead of going into the graph editor every single time to do this, you can just copy paste these curves using Copy Ease. All you have to do is select the keyframes that has the curve that you want and then copy it by holding shift C and then select the other keyframes that you want to paste this curve on and then paste it by holding shift V. So it's basically like control C, control V, like copy and paste, but it's using shift, so shift C and shift V. You can also go into the browse here and select the curve you want to copy. You can double click on them and then paste them onto the keyframes that you want by holding shift V. Another one from AE Juice is Shifter. There's three things you can do with Shifter. The first one is to shift your layers. Second one is to align them. And the third one is to stagger them. So the shift and align, I don't really use them much because I'm so used to in using keyboard shortcut myself. But the stagger tool, I find it very helpful. You can set what kind of stagger you want and how many frames you want them to be apart. I find this super helpful because I used to do it manually or using the, you know, the right click keyframe assistant sequence layer. But by using Shifter, it really does save you time. The next one is Seba from Video Copilot. Many of you might have heard of this and I still find this really crazy that this plugin is completely free. I haven't explored it much myself but I would love to do a separate tutorial exploring this plugin once I play around with it. Basically you can create a lightsaber effect onto either a layer mask or a text layer. So if you just add saber effect onto your solid layer and then change the core into layer mask and you can create any mask you want onto the exact same layer, that mask will have the saber effect. You can also change the presets and they have a bunch of amazing different presets. There's this glow, there's the neon, there's the fire. They even have a preset called Ghostbuster. You can apply this onto the text layer as well. So basically just create a text layer and type your text, put it under your solid layer, and then just change the core type on the saber effect onto text layer. I don't do much character animation myself, but when I do, I love using Juic. Juic is by Rainbow Lab. Good thing about Juic is it helps you to create structure with one click and then it helps you to rig automatically. I personally find rigging really painful because I studied it in uni and it was um, in 3D softwares and it was just so hard for me to remember like the steps but with Juic, I find it like it's so easy to understand so um, some of you who find rigging painful as well like me you might find Juic really helpful and if anyone is interested, I'm happy to do a separate tutorial exploring Juic as well Honorable mention is Motion Tools by Motion Design School so this one is a bit tricky because the plugin itself is free if you enroll into the After Effects Fundamentals course. 
And the problem is when I enrolled into this course a while ago, it was completely free. But it seems like they have put a price on the course now. So technically it is a free plugin, but not quite. Anyways, there's so much you can do with this plugin. You can create easy ease of your keyframes. My favorite one is the move anchor point. Basically, you can move anchor point of your object automatically by just clicking these buttons. The good thing is also the position of your object won't be moved if you change the anchor point through this tool. And then they have this elastic and bounce tool which can automatically add bounce and elastic effect onto your object without you having to manually enter the expressions. You can also sequence your layers with this tool. So many things you can do in one plugin. So that's all my top 5 free plugins in After Effects. I hope you can find this helpful and I've put all the links to download the plugins in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching.